Hello and welcome to the fifth uh, video blog for Talent Egg. Um, today we thought we'd do something a little bit fun. Basically, the other day Antonio and I were um, we were interviewing a candidate, and I turned to Antonio and I said, "You know, Antonio, you're asking some really difficult questions." And so we thought, you know, maybe today for our video blog, we'd do a little bit of a mock interview, and we'd get Antonio to ask me some difficult questions. Uh, and, and the idea is that you watching might learn something from it. Um, not necessarily, I'm, I'm not necessarily going to have all the right answers, but tomorrow we'll come back and we'll critique the questions and the answers and, uh, and see what we can do. Sounds good. So, uh, Antonio, take it away, scary man. <laughs> <laughs> well, Lauren, thank you very much for, for coming here today. Very simple question. Why you? Well, that's actually a more difficult question uh, because it, it requires me to to be to say nice things about myself. I'm not naturally the type of person that would do that kind of thing. But what I can, right. but what I can say is uh, is that I'm a really energetic person. I'm a very I'm really I've been known all my life to be a go getter. That's you know I think how people would describe me as well. And I know that I could do really well in this role uh, based on the experience that I had in university as well as the part time experience that I had. Uh, while I was studying, um, I think that I've already shown that I can do the job. Okay. What would you like to achieve working here? Well, obviously, you know, from a personal career perspective, I'm looking to to learn a certain amount of things. I'm learning to I'm looking to um, develop my own skill set. But on the other side, you know, something that's really important to me in a role, something that's really important to me in a job and a career, is um, is being able to contribute and being able to um, bring something to the table. Because to be honest, that from on a personal perspective, you know, I don't feel good at the end of the day if I'm not if I'm not delivering to the team. So I would like to achieve absolutely my own personal career goals. I'd also really like to help further the goals of the organization. Speaking of the organization, why us? Well, that's another good question. It's a tough question because I know it's a good question. <laughs> because you know, as as an employer, you know that obviously that you know you're not the only place I've applied. Okay. But the reason that I chose this particular organization, and I did do my research, um, is because because what you're in your job description and everything that I've read about you and that I've heard from other people are that you're able to offer uh, work life balance. Is that you're able to offer interesting work is that you're able to offer lots of training. Those things are really important to me. Um, and I'd say even the most important probably being the interesting and challenging work because again, I think I really know myself and I know that what brings out the best in me and that's what brings out the best in me is a challenge. Perfect. Now speaking in, in terms of your applications to other organizations, mm -hmm. where do we rank? Well, I would say that, um, you know, if you were to offer me the job today, I'll put that as, you know, mm -hmm. just say that I would accept. Um, okay, I think that sounds fair. Well, I think I have enough information. Um, any questions for me? Yeah, um, I guess I'm curious, are you able to... Are pause. Pause, <laughs> wow, I can't answer that question. Um, well, how, how about we uh, address that? in our next episode. That's a great idea. So thank you very much. Uh, you guys all got to see me interview for the first time in three years. I hope I did all right. But tomorrow, we'll come back, we'll critique that, and we'll find out. So thanks very much. See you later. We're still recording. <laughs>